It's all hands on deck over at Software Emporium on 10th Street. They're a local small-time tech company that has been running for over 20 years. The compacted store has been in Paul Davies' family for over two decades. Family comes into play, but, uh, you know, we pride ourselves on having employees that have been with us many, many years. You know, eventually we may want to pass it down or sell it to family members. Davey says he is honoured the city and province has chosen to recognise long-time business owners this week. People of Dawson Creek want to shop locally. We have to work harder to make that happen. That's just the reality we face. Only a short walk away from software is Faking Sanity, a small tea house on 103rd Ave. The pint-sized coffee shop has been running for about seven years and co-owner Angel Lachance says with the Fed's proposed small business tax cuts, a little bit of recognition goes a long way. There are so many things that are hard as a small business. You can't compete with the big companies for pricing because they buy in bulk and everything. So it's nice to get a little bit of help on the other end at the end come tax time. So that's always good. The city's initiative is all part of a larger plan by the provincial government, which they say 98% of the workforce is made up of small-time businesses and they generate about 30% of all paid wages. The economic drivers of your community for me and um, they're the ones that create create the opportunities for people, create jobs, create great jobs. Bumstead says since the city is derived on small-time stores, honoring their work and dedication was the right thing to do in the midst of the federal government's controversial tax plan. In terms of this anxiety around some of the changes uh, to this tax uh, structure for them has been a real worry and a concern. And so for us, we need to continue to support our small business community. A new report from the NDP government states growth and job creation in the business sector is steadily growing in British Columbia. Eric Tashner, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.